Chapter 5 Oliver opened his mouth to scream but heard nothing. He was falling faster than his scream could catch him. Blind, blinded by darkness, Oliver could only hear the air zooming past him. He's falling very fast. He folded his arms across his head and braced himself for the imminent, imminent that means something that's, gonna, uh, that's about to happen, the imminent impact when suddenly a glowing red rope over here wrapped itself around his chest and whisked him upwards to safety. When his soul finally returned to his body, Oliver realized the red rope was actually flowing out of Mr. Chapman's hand. So it was Mr. Chapman's hand who got him out again. Slowly, Mr. Chapman retracted, that means took back his energy rope and lifted Oliver back in, onto the staircase. And that's lesson one. Ordinary Oliver, he spoke sarcastically. Because Mr. Chapman still cannot find Oliver's uh, superpower. Oliver blinked his eyes in confusion. What's going on? he asked. It's simple, Mr. Chapman explained. Either confess your power now or go through every remedial I can think of until I find it. Today, it was flying. Who knows what remedial you have next? Oliver's eyes widened in fear. This is crazy! You almost killed me! He shouted. Oh, please, Mr. Chapman replied, rolling his eyes. There's a giant cushion at the bottom. You would have been fine. Oliver breathed a sigh of relief. He felt like he had just escaped a death sentence. Mr. Chapman stared intently. Intently, that means closely and attentively at Oliver and let out a long sigh. Look, Oliver, he said. It's only a matter of time before I discover your power. So why don't you just give up already and confess it now? Oliver looked up to Mr. Chapman, his lips shivering. Mr. Chapman, sir, please, I really don't know what my power is. Fine, Mr. Chapman granted. Then I'll see you on Wednesday. But know this, if you miss even just one remedial, you'll be stuck in handicap class for the rest of your life. Chapter 6 Ollie, are you alright? You look like you have just seen a ghost. What happened? Oliver's mother asked the moment she saw him. She had finally caught sight of him after waiting at the front yard for two hours. Oliver ran into his mother's open arms and hugged her tightly. Nothing happened, mom. He whispered in between sniffles. Sniffles, that means like, like that. Can we just go inside, please? Ollie, something obviously happened at school. What is it? After Olivia reluctantly told his mother about Mr. Chapman and the handicap class, she crossed her arms and shook her head disapprovingly. That means the mother does not agree disapprovingly. That means does not agree with what Mr. Chapman is doing. Dad, Mr. Chapman, how could he? Oliver's mother remarked. It doesn't matter if he had a giant cushion below. He could have had bouncy bail for all I care. It still isn't right. Bouncy bail, this bouncy bail, was an obese, obese and very fat man blessed with the galaxy's most shock-absorbing material, which is his fats or his fats. A colossal, colossal that means very extremely large, man wrapped in folds of fats. The thought of Bouncy Bill waiting to receive him, that means waiting to receive uh, 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 Oliver that, uh, who is jumping down with his squinty eyes and layers of skin couldn't help but bring a chuckle out of Oliver. So Oliver's imagining bouncing, bouncing Bill receiving, that means catching him at the bottom of the hole. Bouncy Bill saving me? Now that would be a blast, Oliver joked. I bet you would have sunk so deep into his skin, it would have taken an hour to finally found you, Oliver's mother added. As they pictured the scene in their minds, mother and son could not contain themselves and burst into wild laughter. Ah, finally my boy is smiling again, Oliver's mother said. She squatted down and looked straight into Oliver's eyes. 
Ollie, she began, are you absolutely sure you want to continue with the remedials? Yes, Olivia replied immediately. That's the only way I'll find my power. Oliver's mother sighed in resignation. So like Oliver's mother's like, ah, okay, give up. Okay, you just do what you want. Her desire, that means her feeling, her, her strong feeling of wanting to protect her son was overcome only by her belief in his dream. All right then, Ollie, she said. In that case, you must, pre be, you must be prepared to face any surprise that Mr. Chapman may throw at you. Understand? Oliver noted his, nodded his head furiously in agreement. Oliver's mother smiled. All right, enough chatter, she said. You must be famished. Famished means very, very hungry. How about a fresh tray of deep fried prawn paste chicken wings paired with a large bowl of ice chendol? Yes, of course, let's go. Oliver cheered as she tucked his mother's hand towards the kitchen. Gifted with a super powered sense of taste, Oliver's mother cooked the most delicious food on the planet. So Oliver's mother's superpower is her taste. So she can cook a lot of delicious food. After gobbling, gobbling, that means eating very quickly, down his mother's scrumptious, scrumptious, that means delicious chicken wings, Oliver felt like all was right with the world again. The horror of Mr. Chapman's remedia had became, become a distant memory. It will get better, Oliver thought to himself. Surely one day Mr. Chapman will believe me, believe that he doesn't have superpowers. I don't believe you, Mr. Chapman yelled in exasperation. Exasperation, that means irritation. He's irritated or annoyed after yet another filled remedia. It has been six months, Oliver. 78 remedial lessons and I still don't know your power. In all my years as discipline master, I've met the most pig-headed children, but you, Oliver, are the most stubborn trainee I've ever met. Catching his breath, Mr. Chapman spoke again. You have left me with no choice. We'll have to try that remedial. Quickly, Oliver, follow me.